Hi everyone, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Adam. I'm a composer, pianist, teacher, writer, and comedian. And today I'm gonna to be doing something that's a little bit different from what I'm used to doing on my channel. Rather than doing like a full-on video essay, I just wanted to do a quick reaction video to a video that several of my subscribers sent in to me because it is, um... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. There's a lot to unpack here. Uh, this is a video of a guy named Christian Berdahl, who is a Christian singer and he went on this show uh, to basically say that syncopated music is the music of the devil and it short circuits your brain and gives power to the pagans. That is um, not true. So I'm gonna just go through the video and basically react to it and tell you what I know, uh, make corrections as needed, which is a lot. Um, and then basically uh, explain the more correct information. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Hmm. Postmodernism power. What? Okay, hang on. Can we talk about what all do we have here? We got postmodernism, power of choice, rumors of war, financial crisis, faith-based abortion, Bible translations, political correctness. Okay, so I know that this isn't actually Christian's thing. This is just the show that he's doing. But that is the most bananas combination of things. I, I just, like... I kind of want to take this same thing and, like, just put a bunch of other completely random things, like ceramics, political law, thyroid health, the Bee Gees, the loss meme. Okay, anyways, let's... This is such an intro, I can't get over it. What he's doing and what he's teaching people to do is meditation. Okay, so real quick, we have the first introduction of his name. It says, Christian Berdahl, Shepherd's Call Ministry, President. Uh, I did a little bit of my own research, and it turns out that Shepherd's Call Ministry, it's just Christian as president, and then his wife's father and mother do the office work. Here's the thing, like, I'm not going to say that, like, running your own small business is, like, a bad thing or whatever, but having him come in as if he's some sort of expert on the way that music affects your brain when he's really no more of a president than your friend from high school who's selling bath bombs as a CEO. They're trying to establish his ethos in this moment, and he's 100% not qualified to talk about these things. I'm sure he has lots to say about other aspects of music, but in terms of it being some sort of uh, objective cognition thing, I, I'm not gonna, I, I don't buy it. Meditation, the, the sole purpose of it, whether it's yoga, any sort of Eastern kind of meditation. I used to study martial arts, so I used to meditate and different things. Cool. And the whole point is to get from a place of beta brainwave activity. Now, beta brainwave activity is great. And we're trying to get to an alpha state, and an alpha state is great as well. Now, beta is when your frontal moral lobe is dynamically analyzed. Mm, it's really active, and it's dynamically analyzing all the incoming information. Yes, I believe that. Oh, no, I don't. I reject it. So that's why, for instance, Jesus was tempted, but he never engaged in the temptation. So his frontal moral lobe was healthy. It was pulsing with, with, with uh, vibrance and life. So whenever we have incoming information, we want beta brainwave activity. When we have incoming information, we don't necessarily want alpha pattern and the beta gone. Because when we have the alpha pattern, everything that goes in, goes in and is deposited without interpretation. So everything that comes in forms our character. Okay, so there's a lot wrong with this. This is sort of like your very typical, like, start to sort of understand some science-y thing so that you can use it in your description of something that you want to be real. This is uh, very much a mischaracterization of the way the brainwaves work. Uh, so there's four different types of brainwaves, the beta waves, alpha waves, theta waves, and delta waves. And so now he's talking about beta waves, which are like when your brain is sort of mentally active. You know, it's not necessarily that you're better at uh, conceiving of uh, objective morality. It's when, you know, your 
you're, you know, in an active conversation or you're debating somebody or you're talking to a camera in order to talk about beta brainwaves, then, then, then you're probably in that beta state. Uh, alpha is just below that. It's uh, at a lower frequency of waves, but at a higher amplitude. And that's essentially a point of just like a little bit more uh, relaxation. If you've like completed a task and you're now resting, that's when you're gonna be in alpha state. Um, if you're like taking a break at work, that's probably when you're in an alpha state. It's basically the alpha state is when you are ready to be active, but you are not uh, actively expelling energy on some sort of uh, immense cognitive task. Theta is uh, a little bit more uh, restful, like if you're just sort of just hanging out and relaxing and you're like daydreaming, um, that would be your theta state. And then delta is at its lowest and that's when you're um, like you're sleeping and like you're in a deep dreamless sleep, that's delta. Uh, so when he talks about uh, alpha being something that you would not want if you're sort of trying to perceive some sort of morality, like that that's not how that works. Like, yeah, you're, you're more readily able to sort of process things and think about, you know, morality or whatever if you're in a beta state because you're sort of actively processing them. But like, just because you're in an alpha state, that doesn't mean that you are immediately susceptible uh, to whatever information is giving to you. Like, you're especially not like mentally empty and willing to accept anything uh, just because you're in an alpha weight brain pattern. Right? Exactly. If I'm not in a conscious frame of mind, I'm not gonna make an intelligent, informed decision. God says, let us come and reason together. Alpha state, no reasoning. That kind of prayer, no reasoning. Very dangerous. It's not true. Um, there is mental reasoning. The top three states are, are still, you're working through information and learning how it works. It's just you're doing it in very different ways and in very active ways. To imply that alpha brainwave pattern means that you're going to be more susceptible uh, to evil is very wrong. And then of course, in doing this, he's doing that typical thing where I'm going to understand, I'm going to learn how to understand a very small portion of this thing that takes years to understand. I'm going to misinterpret it uh, in order to further my own agenda. Uh, and it just so happens in his case that his agenda is um, essentially implying that Eastern religions are evil, which again, they are not. I feel like I should start tallying the things that I feel like I shouldn't have to say. And so yeah, you do have moral reasoning at the alpha state, it's just a different level of activity. Certain kinds of music with the back beats, with the accent on the wrong um, beats. For instance, I wanna give our viewers a, an example of what I'm talking about. If we are listening to a song, and I'm gonna use a simple song like, Jesus loves me, and I'm just gonna say, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. The emphasis is on the one beat, okay? It's more of a march. Bum, 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 right? Okay, uh, so apparently now, uh, Jesus loves me, the beloved and cute little children's song is a march. That's canon. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I have these funny shirts and face masks for sale if you'd like to support the channel, or I have a Patreon if you like bonus content and community building. Also, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell notification icon. Okay, thanks, bye. And now we can also move the accent. We can duplicate that and put it on the one and on the three. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know, kind of like a child would sing it. It's innocent, it's on the one and three. All we have to do is shift the accent to the two, or to the two and the four, or just the three. Sounds kind of confusing, but it would be like this. Jesus loves me, this I know, oh, for the Bible tells me so, oh, little ones to him belong. Oh, all of a sudden, you have what, what we call like a rap or a hip hop feel. Okay, so now I see exactly where he's getting into here because now it's like, okay, now we're not just talking about, you know, Eastern mysticism and how it's evil. Uh, we're now going to be talking about how rap and hip hop are evil. I was thinking that this was gonna be a lot of dog whistle racism, but like, this is like foghorn ridiculous. Okay, it's, it's very clear what he's doing. He's trying to sort of uh, give us information incorrectly in order to sort of further his own agenda and sort of scare people into sort of his way of looking at music and his way of looking at life in this, again, very white American Christian way. But he's having so much fun doing his version of syncopation. If you're gonna like lie to people uh, in order to do this, like at least 
make it convincing. This is if like Reefer Madness, instead of the woman like jumping out the window, it showed her like eating Doritos and watching Fantasia and just having a good time. Like it's just like, this seems fine. I don't understand. I, I don't understand why I should be afraid of syncopation. You're having so much fun right now. So then here's the other thing too that he's sort of getting wrong with a lot of this. Backbeat can be a form of syncopation, but that's not actually what we think of like when we talk about like syncopation in a functional sort of standpoint, right? Because that that would we would just call like a backbeat, like putting an emphasis on two and four. Um, more often than not, when you're talking about syncopation, people are expecting that you actually like interrupt the flow of music um, by somehow clouding the strong beats, right? Like the one and the three. And so if you were doing Jesus Loves Me, it wouldn't be like, Jesus loves me, this sign, no. oh, right, where he's trying to do this backbeat thing. If you're actually like syncopating the melody of Jesus Loves Me, it'd be more like, two, three, four, Jesus loves me, this sign, no, four, the Bible tells me so. Like something like that, where it's like, you're also putting some stuff on the strong beat. That was a bad demonstration. But like, you're putting some stuff on the strong beat to remind people where it is, and then you're disturbing it again. So just doing the two and four, that's not really syncopation, at least in a melodic sense. Uh, and then here, also, he's not really demonstrating the way that you would just use a backbeat. He's just doing a scansion error. Like, that's really all that that is. He's taking a song that is very intended to be in that sort of common meter, dun 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 and then, like, pretending that we're just taking that and, like, fitting that over a backbeat rather than creating music that is intended to be in that sort of backbeat style anyways. So he's just doing bad demonstrations to make things look bad. But again, he's still having fun. How is he still having fun? This is f Syncopation by all occult experts around the world agree syncopation is the source of occult power in pagan worship services. Okay, there's a statement. Occult experts around the world agree. Let's go ahead and just do a little bit of a Google search here. If it's all occult experts around the world agreeing to this, this should be pretty easy to find. All right, so pagan worship syncopation. Okay, so there's a response to Christian Berdahl. Okay, so this is just him again. All right, let's go back. Third link. Oh, this is Reddit. Um, this is probably going to be him again. Yeah, it's him again. Weird. So I literally, I didn't like just type out his quote. I literally just said, occult experts syncopation. But weird, there's not like a whole bunch of stuff. It's almost as if um, he's making shit up. Syncopation is the source of occult power in pagan worship services. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> so. Oh my God, I know he wasn't trying, but him saying really in that moment. Oh my God, I need to watch this again. That was fun. Pagan worship services. Really? Oh yeah. Really? So, <laughs> He's clumsily using the words occult and pagan to just sort of keep re-emphasizing that this is like, Here's a scare word for you. Um, anyway. So, this is profound to the Christian. Now we're in, a, in our homes, we're in our cars, listening to Christian music that has all these beats and syncopated things in it. And we're going, oh, this is great, this is wonderful. What it actually does, just like it does to, to ancient voodoo worshipers and modern day voodoo worshipers in their religious services. Hey, wait, we're talking about voodoo worshippers now? Like, weren't we just talking about pagans? Because, like, okay, because pagan just means that it's a religion other than one of the major world religions. And then voodoo is actually based on teachings of the Catholic Church and would therefore not fall under typical paganism because paganism exists outside of those religions, not as an offshoot of one of those religions. So now it's really clear that he's just like, let's see, pagan, uh, the voodoo, uh, occult, rap and hip hop, we got those, uh, seasoning, um, painting the walls at the church a different color. Is it short circuits the frontal moral lobe? It gets them to a place to where they can become possessed. It's called the place of the crossroads between the physical and the spiritual. And now in the church, we have this thing going on and we call it the moving of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so that, that facial expression as if he just like outed some gigantic conspiracy is just, it's, it's really something. This is a very memeable video. 
Guys, just start making memes from these screenshots. Like, seriously, God, there's so much. Oh my God, there's so much. But again, okay, so to get back to the, the brainwave thing, that's 100% that is not what's happening. Uh, if you're in an alpha brainwave pattern, uh, which you usually are if you're listening to music, whether it is syncopated or not, or like you might be in the beta if you're like actively engaging with it. The syncopation has nothing to do with whether or not uh, you are uh, able to be influenced. And just because you're hearing something on two and four, there aren't like, there aren't demons just sitting by being like, all right, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah. Oh, there's the backbeat. Let's go, 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 go. It's, God, it's funny because it's so ridiculous, but at the same time, like, I know there are people who believe it, uh, and I'm concerned about people believing it. He's talking about how, like, beta brainwaves and alpha brainwaves, he's sort of looking at those two specifically, and he's saying that, like, in the alpha brainwave state, you're more susceptible to being influenced by evil things. That's not how that works uh, at all, really. The beta that he's sort of going for is actually triggered more by syncopated music than it is by non-syncopated music because syncopation implies uh, an unusual rhythmic structure. And when you're listening to something that has that unusual structure, your brain is expending more energy trying to figure it out, to understand it. And so if he wants us to get to this beta wave brain state uh, in order to be more godly, uh, syncopation would be a good thing. This is again taking on uh, a pretty ridiculous framework. Uh, so what do I have to say to all this? Um, don't listen to people about music cognition if their only credentials are that they're a Christian singer who runs a business with their in-laws. Uh, I guess that would probably, I, um, I didn't think that that would have to be, um, advice that I gave, um, but here we are in 2020. Wait, hang on, wait. This is from 2012. We've known, we've known for too long, we've been, we've been influenced by the alpha brainwaves, and this is, this is our recompense, this is our just desserts. 2020 is the result of syncopation. Repent and clap on one and three.